All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So Dolly Parton has done the right thing and she's removed herself from the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination or nominating process. Dolly Parton, a 76-year-old country megastar, asked the Hall of Fame to withdraw her name from the 2022 ballot saying, I don't feel that I have earned the right. This is really interesting. Um, I kind of support her decision here. And the reason I do is because I think we can get closer to the spirit of rock and roll than Dolly Parton. I'm not saying she's not talented, she's mega talented, She's crossed over into a number of different genres, including pop and Christian music as of late. But I don't think she should be nominated ahead of so many others who represent the format um, a lot better. Uh, I'm waiting for Eminem or a tribe called Quest to do the same thing here and uh, remove themselves from consideration. But of course, uh, they likely won't do that. I've got to give credit to her. And it also, you know what this really illustrates is how, how wrong or how off the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. This is what Dolly Parton said on social media. I do hope that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will understand, she's worried about how they'll feel, and be willing to consider me again if I'm ever worthy. Keep, keep in mind, she's 76. This has, however, inspire me, inspired me to put out a hopefully great rock and roll album at some point in the future, which I have always wanted to do. <laughs> so she's basically telling these guys, look, I'm not rock and roll, but thanks to this nomination, I'd love to go out and record a rock album. Holy crap, Batman. This is a great way to kind of tell them that they're a little bit off their rocker with certain choices. And she does it in such a respectful way. And it's almost like she's having fun. She's trolling them a bit. My husband is a total rock and roll freak and has always encouraged me to do one, meaning a rock and roll album. I wish all of the nominees good luck. And thank you again for the compliment. Rock on. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I guess uh, Dolly last month told Billboard that she never thought of herself as a rock and roller in any sense of the word, but I guess they judge it on the music and the influence certain songs have had, and I guess I've had songs with other people in that realm. She said, I'm not expecting that I'll get in, but if I do, I'll immediately next year have to put out a great rock and roll album which I've wanted to do for years, like a Linda Ronstadt or a heart kind of thing. <laughs> Dolly Parton is the most honored and revered female country singer, songwriter of all time. So there you go. She's got her fame. She's in the category. She's in that lane. It's like, okay, I have a couple of theories here. Number one, we know that there's a push to get ladies into the Hall of Fame. Can we get Carly Simon and Pat Benatar in this time around? Can we just do that? And if you want to throw Kate Bush in there, that's fine. I, I don't know if she rises to the level of inductee, but okay. If you're gonna if you're gonna consider Dolly, then Kate Bush, you know, see, and this is how we all feel. We're looking at these nominees and we're thinking, well, if they're gonna put Kate Bush in, that's okay. I mean, it's better than some of the other stuff. And again, I'm waiting for. <laughs> Is Eminem going to bow out of this nominating process? Or is he going to do a good rock and roll album next year like Dolly says she's going to do? <laughs> this is so rich, and it shows how screwed up our culture is. It just, everything is out of whack. Now, did I love the years when you could hear a song by Dolly Parton next to a song by Ario Speedwagon next to a song by, you know, Lionel Richie, and he had all these styles kind of mixing together. I love those years, but again, you don't just throw everything into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now, which is music, you know? I mean, 
Tchaikovsky was uh, influential, right? Although I shouldn't talk about him, right? Ooh, that was a mistake. Beethoven, he was influential, right? Should he go into the Hall of Fame? I'm certain that Beethoven influenced the Beatles and ELO and so many other bands, right? Sure. I mean, throw Beethoven into the Hall of Fame. I mean, <laughs> I don't know who would be there to accept on behalf of Beethoven, right? It, it'd be funny. It just... <laughs> Anyway, folks, um, good on Dolly Parton for doing this. She did this in a way, too, that not only did it poke fun at these guys, but it really kind of unveiled, you know, a huge flaw with the entire nominating process. The, the easy thing to say here is how about you nominate some rock bands or some rock artists into the Hall of Fame? You've got at least three here, maybe four that don't really fit into this category. And if you're thinking, wow, we've got to be diverse because we want people to know about other things, that's up to other people. That's not up to you to educate us through this process, which steamrolls over so many artists that haven't ever been nominated and should get in based on their catalog and their achievements and their career and the fact that they are rock and roll artists. You know, again, I don't like MC5. People know how I feel about MC5, but yes, they are a rock band. And at least they're a rock band. I will say that. Dolly Parton, admitting to the world here, not so much. And she says, thank you, but no thank you. Um, more votes for the other contenders. Maybe I'll do a rock album and then you can put me in the Hall of Fame. And again, she's 76 years old. Uh, apparently she's planning on being here for quite some time. So. Uh, We'll wait and see. Maybe that rock album will come out next year and she'll get nominated again and she'll be happy to be inducted into an institution, quite frankly, that needs a lot of help with the way they do things.